unbelieving Christians, a lot of times people think that being an unbelieving Christian is, oh, well, uh, you're not having faith in God doing something specific for you. You're not having faith in God's word. I'm going to, that's true. But here's another thing. You can be an unbelie a unbelieving Christian when you continue to habitually sin, when you live a sinful life. We are not perfect. We strive for perfection through Christ, but we have to know we're not perfect. But some people run with that. I'm not perfect. Jesus knows. And you just sin constantly. You're in habitual sin. Not the man that falleth and gets right back up, but the man who falls on purpose. You're, you're an unbeliever. You don't believe God. Guys, even though we make mistakes, there's a difference. And I can tell you from how I used to be calling myself a Christian, fornicating, and Lord, you understand. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He understands why. Yeah, I understand. I'm just going to hell. You understand? So, you know, being a believer and thinking that, you know, it's okay for me to talk about people. Well, I didn't really. I wasn't a person that really talked about people. That wasn't my thing. But just certain things I was doing, you know, it just wasn't right. If we truly believe that Jesus can come at any moment, then how can we habitually sin? You know, as a Christian, you're going to make your mistakes but when God is truly in you, you're being led by the Holy Spirit. You feel such a godly sorrow that you're like, Lord, I'm sorry. You don't want to do it anymore. And you and you stop and you find that you are not doing the stuff like you used to do all the time. Now, it does not mean that we get to turn our nose up at other people and feel like we have arrived because there's a way, there's a whole lot more in there that God will reveal and that he's always working on us, right? But what I'm telling you is if you are a Christian and you're acting just like the world and you're looking just like the world and you're cussing just like the world and you're in the same places just like the world and you're drinking and you get drunk and you run around and you're being sexually active just like the world you're following all the principles of the world <laughs> you're holding unforgiveness that's a secret one that's one of them other stealth sins that's there that probably you don't even know you're holding unforgiveness and malice and strife and walking by your brother and sister and you're not talking to them and you setting people up against them you're doing all these things you don't believe you do those things because you don't truly believe who God is if you truly believed him then you would desire to be like him and you would not act that way. You don't believe in God. You don't truly believe in him when you continue to sin. You believe that he is, you know, Mr. Stapuff. He is the candy man. He is the, you know, the genie. He's supposed to give you whatever you want. You see him one way, but you don't truly believe in him. You, oh, God is going to forgive me. You don't truly believe in the dangers of your sin. You don't truly believe that, you know, the, the wages of sin is death. You don't believe it because you do it all the time. You don't believe that God could come at any moment because if you believed it, you would not just sin every day like that. You wouldn't disobey God on a regular basis. Again, like I said, people make mistakes. People make mistakes. I make mistakes. Sometimes I say things I shouldn't say, but I'm immediately like, as soon as I do it, it's like a ooh on me. And it'll stay with me all day. I'm like, God, I'm so sorry. And I ask for forgiveness, right? And then I'm still, oh Lord. And the Lord's like, you already asked for forgiveness move on. That's the kind of conviction that comes upon you. Then you talk to your brother and sister crazy. You feel a, a, a conviction in your spirit. Like, no, that was wrong. He said, I'm so sorry. Another thing, guys, you would have done things and God would bring things to your remembrance and say, make that right. And you will make it right. The reason why sinners are just doing, I'm sorry. The reason why Christians are so off the chain these days People who call themselves Christians that's so off the chain and bringing another gospel and tell my y'all don't know me, y'all don't know me, doing all of this, they don't believe in God. And guess what? They're gonna get mad about that. They'll get mad. I yes, I do. Oh uh, no, you don't. Mm -mm. Theoretically, you have knowledge of God, you know who God is, you have a in theory, you know him. In theory, you want to say you believe him. But in actuality, through your actions, 
No, you don't. And that is why the unbelieving and the unsaved won't turn because they're like, man, please. Seeing is believing. Actions is proof. All right, guys, let's change. God loves us. Get it right. Get before him. You don't owe me any explanations. But what about God? All right, guys, don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.